So I'm going to do a quick unboxing and setup of the new Unify Cloud Key. I've put a link in the description to the product page so you can see a little bit more about the Cloud Key and what it does. So let's get started. It's good to see that Unify products are still coming in the Ubiquiti's new style of branding to show sort of a high-end product. I really like the new packaging that we've seen with the new dual band wireless points. It's a very high quality finish that they have to the box. It's on the top, just a quick start guide. The idea of this is if you have one of the Ubiquiti switches, the PoE switches, it's powered straight from that. However, I don't have a passive PoE switch, so I'm going to be powering it from the micro USB cable on the bottom there. So I have a quick start guide here, just basic things about how to plug it in, how to connect it. Included micro SD card. Um, now this is to store information from the cloud controller and set up files etc. Um, it's at no extra cost, it does come with the cloud controller. So we've got that here. It looks like it is 8 gig. Camera's not quite focusing there. But there we go. And then finally, this is just an extension. Um, a very sturdy. It looks like it's a shielded twisted pair. It's not quite straight. <laughs> um, and that obviously just clicks into the top there and then goes into your Unify switch. If it's powered by the PoE, then that's all that needs to happen. It just plugs in like this, a very small footprint. However, if, like me, you don't have one of the passive switches, the USB port, that's how I'll be powering it. So let's put the micro SD card in, just slots in here at the bottom. And that's that finished. So now we're going to plug it into the switch with the uh, RJ45 end here and plug in a micro USB cable in the bottom. Now something to note, the micro USB cable is not included, neither is a power adapter, you will need to supply your own. But that is included on the product page, so I was fully aware of that. So once you navigate to the page, you can choose to go into the controller, or set up some settings on the cloud key. So I'm going to set up cloud key first. So I've finished setting up the controller and the cloud key. Um, we can see through here that there are a number of configurable options for the cloud key itself. Um, here's a quick overview page and then under configuration um, obviously there's network settings etc and then maintenance for software and firmware updates and passwords. Um, I've just updated mine, the cloud key needed updated but the version of Unify was the most up to date. Um, so I'll just wait for that to finish checking and it should say that it is up to date. And there we go. And in here is just the standard controller that you would see if you navigated to a web browser and were hosting this on a normal machine. So that about wraps it up for the Unify Cloud Controller. Um, now the main advantage of this is you log into it through unify.ubnt.com and you can manage everything remotely having to pay for a hosted cloud service. So um, I have a few of these on order coming for a few sites that I manage so they'll all be under my control panel here and I'll be able to make changes quite easily. So thanks for watching, if anyone's got any questions please let me know. I've put a link in the description. Um, I managed to get hold of quite a few of these so if anyone would like them, they're quite hard to get hold of here in the UK, um, you can purchase them through my eBay store. Thanks for watching.